What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from Whitestone and this is their dome glass screen protector for the iPhone 10. So guys, this I, uh, screen protector is a little bit different from some of the other ones I've tested and reviewed in the past. This only retails for 30 bucks and it, this is a pretty intense system that they have right here. It actually includes a UV LED lamp to uh, help to cure the adhesive that this uh, product uses to hold the screen shield onto your phone. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys kind of an abbreviated version of the installation. They have a really great video on their website if you're looking for a detailed description on how to install this. But uh, this actually uses liquid dispersion technology. I'm gonna read it right off my notes so I don't mess it up. It basically says here that it uses this patented liquid glass that evenly disperses over the entire screen, filling any scratches or scuffs and hardens to create an impenetrable edge-to-edge -edge barrier while repairing former cracks and imperfections in your screen. That's pretty serious stuff, guys. Um, I will say though, when I, when I hear the word liquid glass, uh, people tend to think like, so it's a screen shield that's liquid and then hardens and that becomes a screen shield. No, the liquid part is the adhesive and the screen, the glass screen shield is separate. So you put the adhesive on it, if that hardens with using the UV uh, lamp with the screen shield on your phone and it basically becomes part of your phone. So I'm really excited to check this out. I've never reviewed, like I said, a screen shield that's similar to this. But for 30 bucks, I'm kind of blown away. I, I would assume, I've seen other screen shields that retail for like 40, 50 bucks, and they just basically peel off the back and stick it on your phone and you're good to go. So this is a little more intense than that. And I'm wondering if it's probably gonna be a better, a better more uh, secure type of thing to protect your phone. So without, we've talked enough about it. Let's get to the installation of this bad boy and check it out and see what's all involved in this. All right, so here we have the packaging for the dome glass for the iPhone X. As you can see here, there's quite a bit of things that are included in here. We already, right off the bat, you can see that UV LED lamp, which is, I don't think I've ever seen a screen protector actually feature an LED lamp. So that's pretty interesting. We have the USB cable here. So you can plug this into a wall adapter, or you can plug into a, uh, like a battery pack, or whatever it is, anything that will provide power through USB. You can do that, and you can use this to uh, cure the adhesive on the actual uh, screen shield. So you pop that open, place that over. I'll show you real briefly how that works. It, that's actually, the curing process actually is pretty quick. <clears throat> so here we have the instructions for that. And then we have the actual plate that you, uh, that you use to line everything up on. Right here, we have two balls of adhesive. I, I guess this is like in case I mess one of them up. And it doesn't include an additional line. I don't, not, don't know that for sure. I haven't actually installed it on my phone yet. And here we have all the extra pieces, and then we have the screen shield right here, and the different tabs and things in order to do the installation. So I'm gonna do a really quick, fast version of it and uh, show you guys what is involved in doing this. Like I said, if you need to see detailed instructions on how to do this installation, go, I'll put a link in the description actually, make it easier for you guys to find that video. They have a very detailed uh, five minute video on every step that re is required to do this installation. So this is just a quick one just to show you kind of a, in, a, in a roundabout way what's involved in doing the install for the dome glass for the iPhone 10. So let's get into it. All right, so I did the install, and guys, this thing looks really sharp. Um, I did have to do twice. It, luckily, it does come with a second adhesive, like the, the mixture, like the, whatever the, the adhesive it uses. Uh, I messed up the first time. I, the, the, there's a bubble that goes in, this, it's supposed to be in the center of it, and when you release the uh, screen shield to fall on top of it, the bubble's supposed to be in the middle of it. My bubbles were a little bit further down, so it didn't completely cover the whole thing, so I had to take that off, wipe it down, and start over with the with a new, fresh, new adhesive, but it does come with two of them. So uh, I did put it on there. 
and this thing looks sharp it looks it's kind of hard to explain it feels it doesn't feel like it's actually a screen shield first off the texture is super smooth it feels very nice it feels just like the iPhone uh, the iPhone screen but um, the other thing I, I usually notice about the screen shields is that you can it's almost too close to the edge like it gives too much of a gap between the edge of the phone and the screen shield but this one actually goes really far to the edge and uh, it looks really nice guys I'm actually pretty impressed with the with the quality of that I'm not gonna sit here and admit and say that this was a super easy process it is it did take me probably uh, 30 minutes or so to get it done just because I was being super cautious with it but uh, I'm pretty happy with the result it looks really sharp really nice and man I definitely don't want to have to uh, I definitely don't want to have to replace this screen protector anytime soon on my iPhone so I'm really liking the way it looks and it, the texture of it feels exactly like the iPhone screen and it doesn't seem to like cause any kind of weird any kind of weird things going on with the, the screen it looks as sharp as it normally looks whenever you're using the iPhone um, yeah I'm really impressed with it I'm, I'm just I the, big, the biggest thing I love about it is that it goes all the way to the edge I'm not sure I'm trying to get it in the light that you can see but it goes completely almost to the edge of the iPhone and when you're using it it doesn't really feel like it's there it's pretty it's pretty crazy so I'm liking this so far 30 bucks not a bad deal guys other thing I wanted to show you is that I do have a case right here. This is a snapback case. I'm not going to tell you the brand because they also make screen protectors. But as you can see, um, it, it, the screen shield is around the edge of the iPhone, but not enough to the point to where you can't place a case on it. So I'm not sure if you can see, but that is like right, right, right on the edge. And I put it in there. I was just praying that it wouldn't push off, push the screen shield off or anything, but it fits in there perfectly. In this case, uh, kind of wraps around the, the, the edge of the iPhone really well. So if you have a similar style of snapback case, the screen shield should be fine when using it with uh, those style of cases. So those are my final thoughts on the dome glass for the iPhone 10. If you guys are interested in purchasing this product, I will have a link down below in the description. Do yourself a favor if you're looking for a screen shield, click on that link. It retails for 30 bucks, very reasonably priced. You can't really go wrong with that. And I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. If you have any questions about this product, post them down below in the comment section. I read every comment in all my videos and I always answer back as quickly as possible. If you wanna check out some of my other videos, I got two clips right here you can click on. And if you wanna to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be alerted to my other tech reviews, make sure you click on my face. That's it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next video review.